many of you think Paul may have had PTSD? Turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Paul is a church planter. He's planted this amazing church in Corinth that is one of the most powerful churches that is recorded in the New Testament in terms of moving in the power of God. But how many of you know they're pretty messed up too? Anybody read Corinthians lately? I mean, the first letter was pretty rough. And then we get to the second letter. And here's what Paul is addressing in the second letter. There's a bunch of Judaizers and false teachers that have come into the, court, the church in Corinth, and they have set themselves up to be the real true apostles, the super apostles who have new revelation that Paul didn't carry. And they're seeking to steal the hearts of the people away from Paul and basically denigrating Paul as somebody who is not worthy enough to be called an apostle. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul is engaging in this conversation with them, and he comes to a place that he's got to literally show his credentials for being the true apostle of Jesus Christ. Now, he doesn't have ordination papers. He doesn't have a doctoral degree. He doesn't have any kind of certificate from any kind of institution. But this is what Paul says shows that he's a true apostle. Are, this is verse 23. Are they servants of Christ? I speak as if insane. I more so in far more labors, in far more imprisonments, beaten times without number, often in danger of death. Five times I received from the Jews 39 lashes. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I have spent in the deep. I have been on frequent journeys, in dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my countrymen, dangers from the Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers on the sea, dangers among false brethren. I have been in labor and hardship through many sleepless nights, in hunger and thirst, often without food, in cold and exposure. And apart from such external things, there is the daily pressure on me of concern for all the churches. Who is weak without my being weak? Who is led into sin without my intense concern? If I have to boast, I will boast of what pertains to my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, he who is blessed forever, knows that I am not lying. In Damascus, the ethnarch under Aretas, the king, was, was guarding the city <clears throat> of the Damascenes in order to seize me. And I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall, so I escaped his hands. How many of you think Paul may have had some PTSD? <laughs> to follow Jesus means that while we die to our old self, we die to everything as Rodney so brilliantly has, has exegeted for us these last two days. We understand that we no longer live in the identity of the old person of who we are. Part of the issue for the people that knew us, including our families, is that they don't like the new person. As a matter of fact, they wonder if you've gone kind of crazy. Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? Because you're following some kind of cult or you're doing things that you never used to do. And how come you're so judgmental of me because we do all the things that you used to do, but now you don't do them now? There's sometimes that when you lead people, even within the church, that you make decisions based upon the Holy Spirit leading that while you do your best to do it with wisdom and with counsel, ultimately there are times that you make decisions and you lead in such a way that people begin to not like you anymore. 
They don't want to be, they don't want you to be their pastor any longer. And instead of being polite about it and leaving quietly, they like to leave with a ruckus. They like to take other people with them. As a matter of fact, they like to kick you out and decide that they're going to set themselves up to be king rather than you. My brothers and sisters, I'd love to say to you that well, that will never happen to you, but then I would be lying. That the reality is we must understand that it's traumatic to follow Jesus Christ. There's trauma involved. There's wounding involved. 